In today's video, we will review what Dr. Mike actually had in his eye and what he had done to fix it. Maybe you have something similar. We'll get into it in this video. What is up, Zach here with Dr. Eyeball MD. I'm a third year ophthalmology resident, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the video that Dr. Mike put out recently where he had his eye fixed, where he went to a dermatologist and had a procedure done on his eye. We'll talk about what he had in the first place and then the procedure that he had done and then some other options because this is a pretty common problem that a lot of people have, and they may be wondering how to fix it and kind of their treatment options. So we'll get into it in this video. We will review the video that Dr. Mike put up. If you're interested in things about medical school, residency, ophthalmology, eye care in general, go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below. I am in fact one of the only medical YouTubers to have a lava lamp. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start reviewing the video. For the audience doesn't know, check this out. I have a sty in my eye. That's right, I ride. This thing has not gone away in six months. Press on it, feel it. There's a big ball in there. And I tried massaging it. I so when it comes to a sty, there's actually a couple different things that people commonly think of as a sty, but they are actually a little bit different. And what those are are chalasia and hordeola. So a chalasia is basically a sterile inflammation, a sterile chronic granulomatous inflammation of an oil gland. So we have oil glands in our eyelid that secrete oil onto our ocular surface. That prevents our tears from evaporating away. They act like an oil layer on top of the ocean. If you can imagine oil over the top of the ocean, it would keep the water from evaporating. We have the same little oil layer over our tears to keep them from evaporating and our eyes drying out. But sometimes these oil glands will get blocked up. And when that happens, the secretions, those sebaceous oily secretions can build up in that little gland in the eyelid. And that can cause kind of a sterile inflammation. What that means is it's not actually infected, but it's causing inflammation because it's leaking into the surrounding tissues. Now that's a chalazion. So that's an inflammation of a obstructed meibomian gland or oil gland. The other thing that we sometimes think about, typically referred to as a sty, which is a little more, uh, I guess if you wanna think of it a little more in line with what you might think of a classic sty is a hordeolum, and that is an infection of either that oil gland or an eyelash follicle. So you actually get a purulent infection and purulent inflammation in either the eyelash follicle or the oil gland. So chalazion is sterile, meaning not infected. Hordeolum is infected, uh, purulent inflammation. Um, it's hard to know here exactly which one uh, Dr. Mike has, but just from looking at that picture, it looks to be probably uh, at least external chalazion or external hordeolum. Let's keep watching the video and see. Right, this thing has not gone away in six months. Press on it, feel it, there's a big ball in there. And I tried massaging it, I tried compresses, I tried everything. So he says, I tried warm compresses, I've tried everything. So warm compresses, the basic idea behind doing warm compresses is that it will melt that kind of inspissated or kind of hardened secretion, those oil secretions that don't wanna flow out of the gland. If you hold hot compresses on them, it will actually loosen them up. You can think about it like a stick of butter that's kinda of gotten lodged in blocking a duct. If you put something hot on it, it's gonna melt the butter and then the butter is gonna get flowing and it's gonna kind of uh, quit blocking that oil gland basically and you're not gonna have the uh, chalazion anymore. Little baby injection. Oh, uh, we're doing a baby injection to the eye. I'm scared, should I be scared? It's so what he's doing here is injecting Kenalog, which is just a steroid. So steroids reduce inflammation. So he's basically treating this like a chalazion. There's that chronic sterile granulomatous inflammation. The steroid will help reduce the inflammation and hopefully make it go away. Sometimes you'll have to do multiple of these injections um, to make them go away. So this is kind of one option if the warm compresses have not helped, like Dr. Mike said, his had not helped. And then he asked if he could go blind and this dermatologist said, yes, you can go blind. Um, I guess if he injected it in the wrong place, like into his eyeball instead of into his eyelid, um, then you could. I'm not sure um, how else that would, would, would happen, but uh, pretty safe if you put the needle in the right place. Let's keep watching. Good. Yeah. So he's going in here through the external side. So from the skin side, you can actually go on the underside, the back side of the eyelid. You can roll the eyelid out. In the pink part there, the conjunctiva, you can inject directly into that side too. Oh my God, I thought I would be going to a dermatologist's office to get Botox, not to get my eye injected for a sty. Give it a couple years. Tell the audience, what's the purpose of getting the steroid injection in there? So essentially what happens, there's an inflamed follicle in there. Yep. Um, we Hair tried, follicle, right? So exactly. it can be a follicle or it can be a meibomian gland. Uh, if it's a hordeolum, it can be 
uh, eyelash follicle, but if it's a chalazian, it's typically a meibomian gland. Equilibrium. These are super common. Um, around the eye, not as much, but we do see them quite a bit, and mm -hmm. so usually. Actually, they are not uncommon, especially in ophthalmology practice. Uh, we see these pretty frequently, especially in kids. Kids can get multiple of them on their eyelids, upper and lower eyelids. And the way that we always typically start off is with conservative treatment. So one, the warm compresses like Dr. Mike had tried first. Um, and then two, in kids, we often have to go to the OR um, or you know, basically do a small procedure. They typically aren't gonna tolerate an injection like this. In adults, you can do these steroid injections, uh, but at, if those aren't working, then you can go to the operating room and actually flip the eyelid on inside out basically. So you're going in from the backside and then you can kind of get into that uh, sterile inflammation and cut it open and kind of scoop out the kind of cheesy granulomatous material. Uh, and then the eyelid will just heal back um, by itself. You might have some bloody tears for a day or two um, and that will pretty much cure them typically. But the key is to have good lid hygiene and to use the warm compresses so those oil glands aren't getting blocked up and, and inspissated uh, or kind of sticky cheese like hardened butter blocking the glands. So the warm compresses can actually help. Uh, believe it or not. All right, so in layman's terms, Dr. Mike had a sty, but in reality, he probably had a hordeolum or chalazian, and they injected steroid, most likely Kenalog, into the eyelid, into that meibomian gland or hair follicle, I don't know which in, in this circumstance exactly, it's hard to tell, uh, to help reduce the inflammation. And those will typically work. He may need another injection if it doesn't. And then if it keeps recurring, there's always the option to go to the operating room and incise it from the back of the eyelid. If you have one of these styes, chalazian or hordeolum, your doctor may tell you to try warm compresses. And then other options down the line are steroid injections or potentially surgery to remove these. I just did one on Friday in a kid, and they're really satisfying to kind of get all that gunk out of the eyelid and then it's just immediately kind of better. It's gone. You take it out and it's gone. So super cool surgery, super fun, super quick. Anyways, that's Chalazian Hordeolum. That's what Dr. Mike had. I hope that video was informative and you liked it. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. I'll see you guys in the next video.